Mabuhay! Magandang araw and good day, my dear tourists! On behalf of the Sky High Traveling Tours, I am Alia, but you can call me Alluring Alia, your official tour guide for today, who will give you 7,641 reasons to smile. With us is our friendly coach captain, Mang Wan. We will be your companions for the rest of the tour. You may approach me if you need my help and assistance. Before we start, let me first do a head count. 1, 2, 30. Perfect. Before we begin the tour, there are a few friendly reminders and safety precautions that I want you to be aware of so that our journey will be highly safe and enjoyable. To start, I ask that you stay seated until we arrive at our destination. You may eat or drink on the bus so we have provided you with a disposal bag. Second, put on your mask, bring your alcohol, and maintain social distancing at all times. Third, if you hear me whistle once, and my flag will race like this, it signals we'll be forming a line in front of the bus to board as we'll be going to our next destination. Lastly, a first aid kit in case of emergency. And always remember to observe and embrace what nature has in store for us by not doing anything harmful because being a traveler means leaving no trace behind. Now, let us remember that we are the most holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let me welcome you all to the historical capital of the Philippines and the cradle of the Philippine Revolution, the province of Cavite. Cavite is a suburban province that occupies the south of Manila Bay. It is only two to three hours away from the capital city, Manila. Home to some of the top historical sites in the Philippines, Cavite is known to be the birthplace of Filipino national heroes such as Juan Saraza Castaneda, General Pantaleon Garcia, and former President Emilio Aguinaldo. Welcome to our first destination, Corregidor Island. Isla ng Corregidor was identified by the Spaniards as a strategic defense location when they arrived in 16th century. They named it Island of the Corrector since this was the place where all ships entering Manila would stop for inspection. Since then, the fortress island has been the site of many battles from the Spanish-American War to the period of American colonialism. The oldest landmark on the island is the lighthouse dated 1853. But bunch of this lush tropical island is dominated by the ruins that reflect the intense fighting that took place in World War II. During the Japanese invasion of the Philippines in 1941, Corregidor was the temporary headquarters of the Philippine government. American and Filipino troops fought desperately to defend the island using tunnels dug into the rock, a storage for ammunition, and hospitals. But without reinforcements, they were beaten badly. Corregidor was surrendered to the Japanese by spring of 1942. In 1945, the tide war turned against the Japanese. After months of aerial and naval bombardment in the tunnels on the island, they surrendered to American and Philippine force in February that year. Even on a bright, sunny day, the place is heavy with memories of what happened here. The building and fortifications on the island has been left untouched, which would give the impression that the fighting ended just yesterday if it weren't for the greenery that has grown over in the decades since their abandonment. The expansive tunnels below ground are no doubt the eeriest part of the island. These dark corridors are allegedly hunted by the Japanese soldiers who took their own lives before defeat. But whether or not you believe this legend, the tunnels are disturbing for the sheer amount of violence that happened here. The island is now designated a national monument and a war memorial. The ruins have been maintained in memory of the American, Filipino, and Japanese soldiers who fought and died here. You may wander around and take some pictures. <whistles> Welcome to our last and definitely not the least destination, Emilio Aguinaldo Shrine. Emilio Aguinaldo Shrine is located in Gawit, Cavite and is one of the most iconic and historic landmarks in the country. The shrine is the ancestral mansion of the first president of the Philippines, General Emilio Aguinaldo, known as the House of History. This is 
were the Philippine independence was declared by Emilio Aguinaldo on June 12, 1898. Three things you should not miss in exploring the Shrine or Aguinaldo's personal memorabilia and artifacts, the weapons that was used during the Philippine Revolution, and the secret tunnel. The ground floor of the mansion houses a museum of Aguinaldo's personal memorabilia and artifacts, such as the ceremonial maze, caps, badges, swords, and uniform. Aside from the personal memorabilia, the museum also features weapons that was used during the Philippine Revolution, such as rifles, pistols, spear, and sword. They said that Aguinaldo Shrine is a house filled with secrets simply because of the many hidden places like this tunnel. There are secret compartments everywhere where items can be hidden and there are tunnels that will actually take you to other places in Kawi. This concrete tunnel will actually lead you to St. Mary Magdalene Church. The house was first built in 1845 with nipa and touch, reconstructed in 1849 with limestone and hardwood. My dear tourists, I am hoping that you didn't eat too much breakfast because we are going to stuff our faces with some of the most delicious delicacies of Cavite. Exploring Cavite will never be complete without tasting the delicious bibingkoy that can only be found in the province. It's like bibingka, buchi, and ginataan all in one glutinous rice dumplings filled with sweet and boiled mongo beans. Instead of being fried like buchi, it is cooked pugon style with the heat on top and at the bottom, much like how bibingka is cooked. It is best eaten with a cup of steaming hot coffee or chocolate. Welcome to Das Marinas Cavites Paroparo Festival. It is an annual event that features the metamorphosis of Das Marinas from being a barrio into becoming one of the fastest developing cities in the Philippines. The butterfly metamorphosis resembles Das Marinas, which took a lot of undertakings through the years to become a progressive city. hotel are there any questions clarifications or suggestions please let us know on behalf of the sky high traveling tours we are very grateful for choosing us to be part of your unforgettable journey here in the province of Cavite always remember life is a journey and not a destination once again this is alluring Alea signing off thank you and mabuhay ang Pilipinas <laughs>